Mary, Queen of Scotland. I know you had a life before I got here. You do realize we're going to be married someday, don't you? Don't you think that we owe it to each other? To our families, to our countries? We've been engaged since we were six. What matters is what's right for my country. And right now, an alliance with Scotland could destroy France. You don't want to marry me. You don't want this at all. You aren't the only one with a country to think of. You have the word of the King and Queen of France. I had that word that we would be married. I'm not sure words mean anything here. You're my queen. You're engaged to the Crown Prince of France. Demas asked me to marry him. He's being declared legitimate. You can't just break an alliance. I don't want to. You're a true queen. A queen that any king would kill for. The next rightful heir to the English throne is you. But what if I don't want it? Do you want to be treated like a ruler? Someone who can say no? Do you need lives at stake to take this seriously? As Queen of Scotland, I have made a decision. I lay no claim to the English throne. There are too many lives at stake, and I have a duty to those who would die for me, who believe that I would die for them. Your loyalty is to France. Love is irrelevant to people like us. Scotland wants me on the throne of England. They want me to wed the next king of France without delay. The day of my marriage, a secret contract was slipped in amongst the others. It gives Scotland to France if I die without an heir. France has betrayed us. I cannot allow it to stand. You'd defy Marie de Guise. I would defy the devil himself if he tried to buy and sell my country. I will not risk Scotland's freedom. We have waited a long, 